You're watching Dog-Eared Musings, and I'm Monica's Hands, back again for another installment of Eating Between the Lines. Today I'm doing a recipe, loosely, inspired by the lionfish ceviche and coconut lime sauce from Aquake Amezi's latest release, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. This is a contemporary romance novel filmed with steamy, messy passion, as well as a contemplative tale about grief, celebration of black joy, confident queer friendship and romance. I thoroughly enjoyed this book and found this read perfect for summer with its tropical environment, heap loads of drama, and, well, steam. It's a romance novel after all. I finished this book in one sitting, awkwardly hoping nobody was reading over my shoulder at the local cafe when I got to all those juicy bits. After reading interviews with the author and reviews about this book, and hearing Amezi, as well as people within the lit scene, talk about claiming the romance genre versus literary fiction, a sphere that Amezi is often categorized in, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty had me thinking, what even is literary fiction? Is this label helpful or a detriment to authors or a detriment to readers and authors? And is the moniker subjective? Is it completely arbitrary? To avoid people commenting in my comments about the definition of what is literary fiction, according to Celadon Books, literary fiction is any action in the story that impacts the main character or characters. That doesn't make any sense. Literary fiction, then, is always a study of the human condition and often an exploration of difficult social or political issues that control our lives. For this reason, it's generally considered more serious than genre fiction. I guess to make it simple, literary fiction is character-based, less popular, and has less structure. It's that sad girl book that the hottie who's sitting in the cafe reading some book with a weird cover is probably reading. So what are the pros of having this label? Well, having this category helps distinguish these books because before the proliferation of social media, literary fiction was less popular and seen as less commercialized. It was really hard for these books to circulate. So having this label helps authors get their voices out there and helps readers read those books. What are the cons? Well, there's so much overlapping that these distinctions can really be arbitrary. So why Amezi stating that their novel is a romance matters is in this publishing world, there's a stigma about genre fiction and the respect that these stories, authors, and readers receive. It's this battle between classism and capitalism. Literary fiction wins the awards, the prestige, and you look like a hipster baddie while reading it. While genre fiction, it sells. When thinking about literary fiction and genre fiction, thinking about distinctions are important for the author and artist integrity. However, these differences should be viewed within a spectrum, not a hierarchy. I think that this is the point that genre bending authors like Amezi are making when it comes to cross publishing, especially when according to an article published by Vox states that romance is the most lucrative genre. It's really exciting that Amezi is making space for themselves. I guess for what it matters, my opinion is that labels and distinctions shouldn't be the distinguishing factor that determines the merit of a story, its characters, the author, and certainly the reader. So whether you are team lit fic or genre, or you think that the whole label thing is bunk, this is where I leave you this week. I'm going to go eat this ceviche now, and hopefully I won't get food poisoning. I'm Monica, this has been Dog Your Musings, happy reading. And happy eating!